play hard, grind hard, stay hard, no, we stay out, make your way out, but I just can't stop, won't stop hustling, just... Granders and granddads, what's happening? This you got a black abstract. You locked it once again. I appreciate you for it. Uh, do me a favor, smash the like button. Make sure you subscribe and all that good stuff. Hit the bell as well so you get notifications. So we got to talk about this, man. We got some new music that dropped. Uh, I want to touch on a variety of different things. Uh, I'm going to do this quick. Try to do this in under five minutes. Um, the Game has dropped his disc to Eminem. It's called The Black Slim Shady. I know it's a clip circulating around. Uh, prior to this disc that came out and said, you know, you see the game sitting on the couch and he's saying, listen, I don't want no problems with him. And all of a sudden he wants problem with him. So everybody knows what this is. We know this game jumps out his window every couple of years. You pick a target or a rapper to start picking on, uh, find some reason. This time he couldn't really find a reason. So everybody's like, why, why is he messing with Eminem? Like, what did, did Eminem say something or do something? No, it's just JC on being JC on. Um, so we're gonna get into it. I cannot play the song because uh did a reaction and they flagged it. So this is pretty much like a review of my thoughts um about you know about the song. So um <laughs> let's get into it. I'm gonna get some reactions too, man. He really is an infant. J uh, don't get it twisted. J. Sion Taylor, a.k.a. The Game, a.k.a. Chuck Taylor, uh, is really a Eminem fan. And we know he just dropped an album called Dramatic, finally, long coming. Um, I was skimming through it. So far, it, he got some joints on there. You know, he got a shitload of features on there. It's hard to have um, It's hard to have a bad album when you got so many features. I had good things that I liked about it, and, uh, and then it was things I didn't like about it. I like how he incorporated the whole Stan, uh, 20 years later, Stan's brothers picking him up, and I guess he decides to keep Stan hostage, or Stan's brother hostage, uh, who still has the autograph cap that Eminem signed. He still wears it to this day. Uh, so I thought that was funny. That was creative. Uh, and it was funny because I just played Stan for my nephew when he was in town. For the first time, he had never heard the song, and he was, uh, we were arguing about people back in the day were scared to get on tracks with Eminem, and I said, Jay-Z was the only one that did, and, you know, people gave him, gave him flack, so he's like, yo, somebody else got on track with Eminem, somebody named Dito or Dido, they got on the, I said, dude, that's a singer, <laughs> so you never heard Stan, and I was like, yo, how do you like Eminem, because he likes Eminem for some reason, and he was like, yo, yeah, I'm an Eminem fan, so I played the song for him, and. He didn't even like the song. <laughs> he said it was too slow. Anyway, fast off. Uh, just talk about this song. So I like that aspect of it. I like how he tried to attempt to mimic uh, Eminem's style on certain uh, songs, um, but it just didn't pan out. And that's what it makes Eminem so special. The way he delivers and his cadence is kind of just something he's honed for years and only he really can do uh, in a perfectionist type of way. Eminem isn't the creator of shock rap. Uh, I think Cameron was doing shock rap before Eminem, if you listen to Confessions of Fire. But Eminem is the king of his style. You know, just saying that the way he puts and pronounce, pronounce is his words. So I saw the game trying to do that, and it just wasn't working. I uh, also saw him, you know, try to devalue what Eminem has done for the culture, uh, you know, by way of just... Um, you know, the insults he was throwing at him, how he was saying his his music, he's a perfect rapper, but he likes soul in one verse. And uh, I don't think that's true at all. I think uh, in order to to have the, the skill that Eminem, the skill set that Eminem has, you have to have soul in there. You know, this is obviously a black art form, but this is something he mastered and is great at it and is good at it. And even though we his, his music doesn't resonate with certain people the way it did back then, it doesn't take away from his greatness in the sense. So I saw I saw what the game was trying to do. He, he was he was pretty much relishing in the fact that yes, Eminem isn't the same Eminem from two thousand. Uh he's not the Marshall Mathers L P Eminem. He's not the Eminem show anymore. He's not the Slim Shady L P Eminem. So we get that. Uh and he was you know, he tried to make light of that. Um and he was saying a bunch of little little verbiage in there and just taking shots and jabs and uh you know some of them were funny and, but for the most part i just don't think this this i don't think it landed 
I've heard JC on do 10 minute tracks towards G Unit, and it's the whole thing is fire from start to finish. This, I just feel like it was a complete miss. And what one thing Omar said, what did Omar say? You come at the guy, you best not miss. JC on, you need to take heed to that because if this boy decides to, hopefully, this, this was a beta track. He comes at you and you come back with something else. Maybe that's the goal. But if that boy responds to you, he got enough ammo to go on. He can cook you. You even said something in your rap about you being on Change Your Heart when the girl didn't pick you. And then you try to reference it. Well, Kim didn't pick you either or something. Whatever you said, you better stop it. I'm telling you right now. You do not want smoke with that white boy. He would demolish you. Uh, and if this is the best temp you got... You're not in the, you're not in even in the running. Uh huh. I wanna know what you guys think. Post in the comments. Did you like this diss track? Uh we're gonna rate it out of five star out of five mics. You know that's how I rate stuff. Out of five mics, I'm gonna get his diss track a two. That's how I think of it. This is you can't it's ain't in the greatest hip hop disses of all time. It's not. It's a two. It sounds like a beta track, like I want you to say something else and then I'm gonna come with the the heat rock. That's just my opinion. Let's talk about Make the Stallion. Make the Stallion just dropped a new album. Um, features a who's who of celebrities. Uh, Future. She got uh, Lotto. She got Rico Nasty. She got um, she got a bunch of people on this album. Um, you know, this is the lead single, obviously, was Plan B. And I was wondering what project that was going to land on. So this is the project that it, got, it landed on. And uh, she needs to talk about some other something else. That it's my first time listening. I want to listen again with a fine tooth, like a fine ear. But so far, she she's not sticking the landing. I I don't know if the reign of Megan and Stallion has come to an end, or I'm just tired of hearing about her pussy. I cannot take another song about how your pussy is and what it does and what you do these niggas. May. I need to see some vulnerability in your songs. You got to start rapping about, like, I don't know, make a dedication song to your mom. Make a, make a song about the Tory Lane shoot. Something. Give us something besides the norm. It's getting tiring. But like I said, this this it's going to grow on me, and I will. You know, it was some bangers on there, but for the most part, it was just regurgitated subject matter. And Meg is too talented of an artist to just keep putting out the same type of music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Nicki Minaj also released a new song where she channels Rick James called Super Freak. Uh, I couldn't get through the first uh, um, seconds of this. I don't like it. I'm sorry, Nicki fans. You can come for me all you want. It is what it is. You got to be real with it. This ain't it. It's, it's not creative. Listen, it sucked because this artist, dope artist, like myself, who who aren't in position yet to, and can't wait to be in position because you can make radio friendly club music fine, just make it new. The song that Megan has with Future on the album is fire. I heard it on the radio earlier. Dope. Love to see that collab. That's dope. Future for all, will always be dope to me. <clears throat> but some of these, it's just like, yo, y'all artists ha are not hungry anymore, dude. And I see why some of them get writers or they try to get new talent to to help them out. And maybe that's what's need. That's maybe that's what's needed in some of these situations. To you know, a bunch of collaborators just to give out the best product, you know, because they, I don't know if they. I'm not gonna say they're not challenging. It's just, but they're not challenging themselves. In a nutshell. I don't know. It's a bunch of other music that dropped as well. Those are the three main big ones. Takeaways. I'll be doing some reviews. Uh, I'm going to be doing a new thing called 90s album reviews where I'll review so-called classic albums for the 90s. And I'll be rating them on mics. Anyway, post your comments below. I want to know what you guys thought about everything that dropped so far, especially the game This Make sure you like, subscribe, and go to PrayForBuffalo.com if you need some merch. I'm in the Black Abstract. Peace.